Hey guys, I'm Rogan and this is my rant. We believe in the diversity of thought here on this channel. I know I haven't uploaded in a while, but I'm not going to get into it because that's not important right now. But I have some ideas and I'm going to try to keep it flowing, but we'll, we'll see how that pans out. All right, got my, got my notepad right here. I got my my pen and stuff like that. And this is a video idea from my friend Jay, who was in uh, the grade, um, well, he was the class of 2014 at the school all my friends and I went to. And uh, yeah, this is his idea. And uh, my friend Kay from um, class of 2013, he really liked the idea too. He thought it was funny. So I'm gonna make the video top 10 numbers. <laughs> I know, it's so stupid, but I have some pretty good reasons, and some pretty stupid reasons, too. Um, so, so yeah, I'm going to get into it. So, um, if you like stupid content like this, hit the like button. And if you don't like the content, you know what to do. And uh, if you want to see more stupid videos like this, hit that subscribe button. It's free, and that notification bell. It might work, it might not. And I'd love to hear what your favorite numbers are in the comment section down below. And, uh, yeah, so let's get into it. So, uh, number 10, coming in at number 10, is one trillion. The number one trillion. One, one, tr one trillion dollars. Um, I put one trillion as number 10 because I feel that it is, it is um, a life-changing amount of money to um, um, almost everybody. And I feel that a lot of good can be done with that money. We do talk about money sometimes here on this channel, like good financial habits, personal finance, investing, and stuff like that. I just think one trillion, if put in the right places, can really you know grow your wealth, or it can really help people who are um, unfortunate. Like a trillion dollars could do a lot for the homeless in this country. Um, it could do a lot for people who um, who are food insecure, or um, who are or going hungry in Africa or the Middle East, or in other countries around the world. That can really uh, it can do a lot of good. You know, it can make it can make better roads. It can make better cars. It can make you know, it can, you know, more green energy, like better, better for the planet. Like a lot can be done with that trillion dollars. Um, you know, you, you know, you can provide, you can provide a great life for your family and your friends and you can live comfortably, com comfortably for yourself, but you know, ease of mind, like peace and stuff like that. It can really, you know, it can really help a lot of things. That's, that's why I put it at number 10. I thought I was in a, like, it's a cool talking point. I'd like to hear what you guys would have to say, what you would do with $1 trillion. I have a few ideas what I would do, but that could be a topic for a different video. All right. So number nine, n n coming in at number nine is 8,008. And, and if you look at a calculator, 8,008 looks like boob. <laughs> so that's the stupid reason. So yeah, boob is uh, number nine. And, uh, you know, who, who doesn't like a good boob and a good tit, you know, every now and then, you know, to like get your tongue in there, like give, give them that uh, sensation, you know, so I think uh, that's, uh, that's pretty good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so number eight is um, 80 million, 88,000 and eight. And that number is just boob twice, like two boobs. Like <laughs> two boobs are better than one. <laughs> All the same reasons for number nine. All right, moving on. Number seven. Number seven is $7.77. So a little short story. I was at my, I was at one of my local Dunkin' Donuts here in New England and this was one of the very rare Dunkin' Donuts that doesn't have a drive through near my grandma's house. So I went there and I bought a coffee and I think, yeah, one donut and my total came up to seven seventy seven. And I was like, oh my God. I was like, that's so lucky. And then like the, the, the woman who took my order, she's like, wow, you're the luckiest person to buy something here today. And I was like, I guess I am. So what I did was I went out and I bought 10 $1 scratch tickets. And, um... It was just, it was just, uh, you know, a Cumberland Farms. I went there and I bought ten one dollars scratch tickets. The, the 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 scratch tickets were gray and red, and um, and I won forty one bucks from th that. And it's a cool story. I mean, it's it's very lucky, you know. So sometimes I have more luck than other days, and it just makes me think of. It just makes me think of Halo, like like John one one seven. I mean, one one seven would have been a really good number. It's another lucky number. Um, so I, it's pretty cool. If, if you like video games in Halo, we talk about video games sometimes here on this channel. I haven't played video games in a, in a while, but you know, maybe soon. All right. So that's the little short story with the n n number seven was seven, seven, seven. 
So, uh, number six. Number six is 666. And, um, no, I'm not a Satan worshiper. I'm actually pretty spiritual and religious at times. But, interesting thing about 666, it's the sign of the devil. But where I went to school, uh, UMass Dartmouth, uh, there's this seating area near the quad next to a couple of old uh, Gothic architecture buildings. That's what that school was made of, like Gothic architecture. And um, there's a seating area, and if viewed from a sky view, it says 666. So we, th like, you know, we, we think that the guy who designed the school is a Satan worshiper. And the quad was actually built on sacred Native American land. And they, they think it's, and there's like theories and rumors that the school is cursed. And there is a lot of questionable people who actually go to UMass Dartmouth that I've encountered and stuff like that. A lot of good, I've had a lot of good former friends and one friend still from there. But, um, but yeah, so it's, it's an interesting thing, interesting conspiracy theory. <laughs> okay, so number five is 2014. I put 2014 uh, down because um, that was the year that uh, my friends S, J, and Q all graduated from the school we all went to, and uh, it's uh, you know it's pretty cool you know and stuff like that, and and you know it's it's an important date in my, my friend group, well our friend group and stuff like that. I thought it was a I thought it was a very important number. I really like that number. It's good, um, <laughs> but it's not as good as number four on the list. Number four on the list is 2013. That's when that's when my friends M K. Yeah, M K A D. Um, J. Uh, that's when we all uh, we all uh, graduated uh, from the school we all went to. It was a pretty cool moment. I mean, it, it's really cool to me because you know we still hang out every once in a while. You know, we we can't hang out as much as we used to, but we still we have a group chat. We still stay in contact and we, you know, and so you know, catch up and stuff like that. So I think it's really important. I think friends in life is very important. And uh stuff like that. So um yeah. Uh it's 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 just how I feel. Is this, this is my top 10 list of top 10 numbers. This is what I decide to do. So, uh, yeah, so, um, remember, friends is, are very important, so keep in touch with your friends, they, you know, they'll always be there for you, got good friends, I mean, we, we went to a very, we went to a small school, so we had, like, some, you know, some, you know, we had some, some like, you know, deep bonds and stuff like that, so it's really, really important to me, and I feel it's really important to them as well, so, alright, so number three, number, number, top three numbers, alright, so we're at number three, number three is 2012, I, I know, how original, it seems like I'm just going, like, slowly down the list of, like, sequential numbers, but 2012 is when my favorite band, <laughs> Neck Deep, yeah, so, um, Neck Deep is a uh, a pop punk band from Wrexham, UK. Um, they're really awesome. I mean, they're not. I mean, they're they're not the best band out there, but I mean, they're my favorite band for many reasons. I mean, they they didn't reinvent the wheel, but you know, their instrumental is amazing. The instrumentals are amazing, and you know, they have great riffs. And uh, you know, Danny Washington was you know almost as good as Travis Barker on the drums, and like you know, Ben Barlow, you know, he's not the best singer, but he's got a good voice, you know, and stuff like that, a very recognizable voice, and, you know, Matt West on the rhythm guitar, and, you know, Sam Bowden on lead, lead guitar, but Lloyd Roberts used to be the lead guitarist, but, um, he's not anymore for, you know, like, allegations, um, and stuff like that, and I really miss Phil Thorpe Evans, the bassist, he was my favorite member of the band, um, but, uh, it's too bad he's gone, but, you know, he, he just left to pursue other projects and spend time with family and friends, which is very understandable. You can get burned out in that type of business. I, I, I completely understand. Um, uh, but yeah, but they made their first EP, Rain in July in 2012, and it had seven songs on it, and then History of Bad Decisions came out in 2013. It was like a three-song EP. Um, but yeah, no, they're, they're a really awesome band. I really love them. They mean so much to me. I have all their CDs and, and vinyl records. And I've seen them in concert, like I think three times. I'm gonna, I'm going to Sad Summerfest. Um, I'm going to Sad Summerfest next weekend. It's gonna be a blast. I'm gonna see them. I'm gonna see them with State Champs, Hot Mulligan, Mayday Parade, Water Parks, and the Somerset. I'm really, I'm really freaking pumped for that. Like rock out, totally rad, dude. I'm gonna wear my Vans. I got my, my, my merch on and stuff like that. Gonna buy some new merch and get a beer or two. So yeah. All right. So. 
Um, coming in at number two, <laughs> we got 420. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so 420... Um, you know, you know, 420 blaze it. You know, I'm not gonna say it anymore because, because you know, the, the demonetized. I mean, I'm not monetized right now, but I'm, I'm not gonna like, like you. Most people, I think, know what 420 is. I think it's just a funny, silly number. But you know, it, and I used to be a stoner. But anyway, <laughs> so, um, anyway, so um, coming in at number one, my top number, <laughs> 69, because the sex position. <laughs> So yeah, so um, I have um, I have done this position a couple times. It was very fun, um, but uh, yeah, so that um, I, I'm sure other people have done it and they either like it or they don't. It depends on the person, but I think it's a cool, inventive way to keep things fresh and spicy in the bedroom. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, so that is my top 10 numbers. <laughs> All right, hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that like button if you did. And if you didn't like the content, if you didn't like my face or my shirt, just remember to smash that dislike button. It gives me a chance to improve, make better content, make more content, and then just get better overall with what I'm doing. All right, guys, I hope you have a great rest of the day. I'll see you next time.